Good morning, well, I am Dr. Malin. So, after INICT and NEET PG results were out, lot of students are thinking about uh, giving one more attempt and repeating the exam. So, today in this video, I am going to talk about a rank based approach that uh, if you want to improve your rank, what are those special things that you need to improve? It's not like you just start reading again, you have to do improvement in certain areas and address certain areas to improve uh, your ranks. So this is the part one of the video. I'm going to talk about those who have scored rank less than 20,000 in NEET and rank less than 3,000 in INICT and wants to attempt the exams one more time. So I have made, uh, uh, I have divided this part one into three groups. The students who are below 2,000 in NEET PG and uh, equivalently uh, less than 3, 000, uh, 300 in INICT, I have uh, kept them in single group. Those between 2,000 to 6,000 in NEET PG and 300 to 1,000 in INICT. And the next group between 6,000 to 20,000 in NEET PG and 1,000 to 3,000 in INICT. As different groups requires different strategy, let's talk about it. So first of all, why it is uh, important to have a planned approach? As I said that you should not start, you know, open book and then start reading. You should know that which areas have higher percentage. So if you say, uh, if you see last two exams of NEET PG 2021 and 2022, you will see that majority of the questions that is 68.5% of the questions were from your uh, first and second prop subject with periodic CNT and OFTAL which I call rank building subject. Also rank deciding subject which are your short subject also had a major percentage between 25 to 5%. So what I mean here that your 25.5% uh, of the questions from this exam can be solved by your knowledge in a rank deciding subject. 68.5% can be solved by the uh, knowledge in the rank building subject. And 50% can be solved by your knowledge in rank maintaining subject. Now, if we see that rank maintaining subject just for subjects, but have for 50% of the weightage, then why not to con <coughs> concentrate on these subjects alone? So I'll tell you the reason. So whenever we are sol solving the question, uh, whenever we are, I mean, uh, covering the portion, these four subjects are very vast and they are huge and it's very difficult to cover them from page to page. And even if one is able to uh, read those subjects well, the accuracy remains low. So this is the general accuracy that I have shown that is possible for us to achieve while uh, solving MCQs. For basic sciences, <clears throat> we can reach up to like 80 to 85 percent of the uh, accuracy. For short subjects, we can read uh, reach 70 to 80 percent of the accuracy. But these subjects being highly clinical, it is difficult to achieve a higher accuracy as clinical uh, question can have very close answers like two correct answers and lot of uh, confusion can be there. So this is the reason why we cannot ach achieve higher accuracy and that is the reason why I always say that we have to focus mainly on the rank building subject and rank deciding subject to get a higher rank. Now uh, let's talk about the first group students who are below 2000 and below uh, 300 in INI. So first of all my frank opinion it is risky to repeat because your talent and your hard work has got you in top 2000 in NIT and top 300 in INICT. But if you see the difference, these are the rank, these are the scores and rank of uh, NIT PG 2022. If you see that rank 2000 has 580 marks. So even if you just get 20 more marks, that is barely two to four questions that will uh, take him uh, to the uh, like uh, three to four questions. So that will take him like the rank will jump by 1000. And if he improves by around 60, like uh, let's say 8 to 10 questions, then he will get in top like 2 300. So I feel there is a huge role of luck to play, whether you, because these 3 4 questions can be, you know, the chance that someone took, uh, the you know, like the guessing someone did. So I think luck plays a major role where you stand between, uh, between 500 to 2000, where you stand in top like 500 to 1000 or 1000 uh, 1, to 2000. So I think it's risky to repeat and you should respect the rank and if you have a NEET PG rank below 2000, I think you can get any set like from radio till any surgical branch you want, you will definitely get it. So I think you should respect the rank and take the seat. On the contrary, if you are ranked below 300, like somewhere like 250, then definitely there are some branches still, uh, in aims which will be out of your reach. And if you want to uh, repeat, then I have few advices for you. I will also say that you know you can spend your energy in residency instead of spending your energy in repeating again you can spend your energy in residency and post PG because if you take medicine or something you have to again prepare for super speciality and fellowships so you can save your energy and prepare for that if you are someone who is an I around 250 and want to repeat so I have few uh, piece of advices uh, for you keep revising to strengthen all subjects see what you need is more revisions and more you revise uh, your accuracy will improve 
also add last 10 year previous year questions if you have done last five year questions add more five years to that so that will give you added advantage also you need to know the decent advances so this will give you extra edge over your competitors uh, competitors like recently approved drug or uh, change in the policies that is also something that you need to uh, read and also you have to give more gts more gts you give this is the group i particularly advise giving more grant, uh, grant test this will help you improving your uh, rank now whenever you give your gts make sure like this is the percentage that you have to i for whenever you get this percentage you are about to get the score of 550 to 600 so once you cross 600 as per uh, this need pg 2022 you will definitely end up in higher ranks so uh, assess your gts in such a way that whenever you are like getting a low score you can just highlight it and try to improve it and reach closer to the uh, accuracy rate that we have uh, planned also for a large subject like uh, medicine surgery psm obs i have given the lower accuracy rate because that is uh, what it hap what happens but sometimes you can get even a higher uh, in that so uh, if you are weak in biochemistry you can you can you know uh, make uh, the compromise in some big subject and your big subject can make up for the lower percentage in your uh, basic sciences now whenever you analyze gt uh, so divide your mistakes into three part if you are making conceptual errors repeatedly then go for that topic videos and notes and again read those notes and videos thoroughly and make sure that your concepts are strong if you are making an ethical error that you are not able to process question well then you have to solve more and more clinical type of questions see to know that to develop that critical thinking to get higher accuracy in analytical questions you have to solve more and more mcqs so once your brain is trained to think in particular way your accuracy will definitely improve if you have recall error that there is some data that you are making a lot of mistakes again and again like biochemistry enzymes or some drug of choices then you have to make a lot of charts and mnemonics so that will help you in exam so whenever you analyze your weaknesses and mistakes try to analyze and uh, divide them into group now coming to the second group who are between rank 2000 to 6000 or rank 300 to 1000 in uh, INI so i will say these students you know their condition is like a silver medalist in a olympic what happens i i was particularly also at one point of time i was in this group what happens actually that you know in olympic it is said the students uh, the players who get a silver medal actually they are not happy as the gold medalist and bronze medalist are because silver medalist always feels that you know gold medal was in his reach similarly the students who are between this rank they always feel that you know the higher ranks were within their reach the students who are here they also feel that you know the higher ranks were in their reach because and it's actually right because you know if you can see here that students who got 550 score who was who is at rank 4500 and just 10 more questions and his right and his uh, score would have improved by 50 marks and would have been in top like near 1000 rank so this is what they feel and I, I can understand the situation so if you are someone who wants to end up like top 100 in INI or top 1000 in NEET PG so here are a few things that I will I want to tell you. First of all, what is your advantage? That is your fundamentals are strong. Your rank building subjects are strong. You need to work more on your short subjects where you are doing your uh, mistakes. Don't do the mistake of changing the source. As I have said that your fundamentals are strong because your source is nice, uh, source is better and you need more revisions. See, if you have done more revisions, one more revision in your previous attempt, you have would have definitely end up higher in the group because you have done the less silly mistakes. This is the group who have done a uh, few number uh, like more number of silly mistakes than the students who are in the top 2000. So to avoid those silly mistakes best way is to do more revisions. If you need to be disciplined like if you feel that you won't be able to study and you know you need to be disciplined then you can join test and discussion just to get a discipline, a discipline. but I don't think you need any classes you just need to revise your uh, uh, you know your material again and again don't lose the consistency and momentum see you have been studying a lot and this is uh, this is a very good rank you should be proud of your rank thus luck was not on your side that day but don't lose the consistency and momentum because you have to maintain this momentum for next six months your chances of improvement are high as i said that you just need 10 to 10 questions more right to get in a great rank give more gts and solve 10 year pyqs yes this group also will advise solve gts analyze your weaknesses and also do last 10 years previous year questions so that will help you to get the extra age now if you are from this group and if you feel that you have to do the job because of the family conditions or any other issues i think you this is the group who can who is the best who can do job and study because you need six to eight hours of a focused study 
because you just need to do the revision you don't have to do anything else so so look for the light job or and you can uh, manage your job and study both well so i will again say for your gts use this chart this is the target percentage that you have to uh, get the accuracy and track your progression divide your subject into weak and strong if your subjects are rank building sub uh, rank uh, and i will say for this group first start uh, working on rank deciding subject which are your short subject and best way to get uh, proficiency over the short subject is to do the previous year questions then go to your uh, first and second prof subject do their class notes if your work subject belong to the rank building subject then do the class notes again watch videos if required and for rank maintaining subject do the high yield topics high this will save a lot of time for you now again whenever you analyze gt divide your mistakes into three type conceptual error analytical error recall error it if conceptual error go for videos and notes analytical error solve more clinical and aims type of mcqs recall error make more charts and mnemonics so this will help you in get over uh, these errors now if you are someone who belongs to the group between 6000 to 20000 of net pg and 1000 to 3000 of ini then there is uh, there are some things that you need to understand see you need to work more on your rank deciding which are your short subject and rank maintaining which are your big four which are your psm obsgeny surgery and medicine so you are, you need to work on the high yield topics from this subject your fundamentals are strong your basic sciences and your uh, first and second prof subjects are very strong and that is the reason why you actually you have ended up in top 20000 or top 3000 in inict so don't change the source you are also the group who need to work on more on the revisions now uh, you have to identify your weak areas and lacuna so how can you do that is again you have to make a long term plan and a short term plan so to formulate a plan and to uh, divide your uh, rank building and rank deciding subject first make sure that how are you going to plan your revisions for next 6 months how are you going to plan your readings for next 6 months so i have released already uh, two videos about inict planner and uh, neat pg planner so you can combine these two time tables and uh, this videos will definitely help you also make a daily plan that how are you going to plan your theory and mcqs which, which you can also find in those videos so next is to identify your weak areas and lacuna so how how to do that so again as i have shown in the uh, previous uh, videos that again make this chart gt is the be- grand test is the best way to assess your weaknesses don't just say that i feel i am you know i am strong in pharmacology i am strong in pathology you have to assess your percentage and not just one gt you have to see your trend that you have to get consistently a good score you see this here i can say that my ent is good because i am consistently getting the score in this range so this is how you define which is your strong area which is your strong subject which is your weak subject now see if you are having a problem with the concepts see you are in a group which has a high ch- very good chance of improvement so if you feel your concepts are weak for like suppose pediatrics or sub subject like pathology so go and watch the videos again it's not a waste of time see it is going to save your time in long run if you are having lot of you know recall errors like biochemistry you are not able to recall enzymes so solve more and more mcqs solve more and more modules so you directly know the answers for big subjects like medicine surgery psm obs gyne you have to just do the high yield topics i have already released video on high yield topics you can definitely find that on my channel but this is how you have to save time you cannot read subject like medicine surgery psm obs gyne page to page you cannot read you cannot solve all mcqs solving all the modules for this subject is not a good idea i will advise rather solve a random modules for subject because it is a too much of time taking and for rank building and deciding subject do lot of previous year questions if that is your weakness so if this is your problem this is your solution and follow this order i will also advise this group first uh, like if you are starting your preparation first do the rank deciding subject do the notes of this subject along with previous year questions then move on to rank building subjects and do class notes and if required video classes for them which you have already done and then move on to the big subject where you cover the high yield topics so make a proper plan work on your weaknesses and then analyze your gts and as i said that do the gt analysis the mistakes to be addressed as per the conceptual error where you again go and watch videos and note read notes where you try to correct your concepts if analytical error you solve more of mcqs so that will help you in uh, you know analyzing the errors and your brain will be trained for critical thinking so you can do uh, you, so you can avoid mistakes and if there are a lot of recall errors make charts and mnemonics which will help you to uh, you know recall them 
and definitely see as i have said that improvement is definitely possible if you think that improvement cannot be done i i can uh, like show you this uh, chart so if you are someone at at 15000 if you are in this group so your score is 484 so there is a jump that you can take so here you can if you are able to make 14 to improve like by 12 to 15 question with your existing uh, score and knowledge then you can directly jump into top uh, 5000 so don't think that improvement can be there even i will feel that if you work harder you can even make like 20 to 30 uh, marks of uh, like improvement and you can even get the better results but basically our plan is to end up in top 5000 where you stand a chance to get a very good rank so i will say that uh, this is a risk group if you lose momentum and consistency so don't lose the momentum and consistency and if you ask me that if you are from this group and if you want to do the job as well i will say it's a plus minus because you need to work a lot on your subjects so try to find a light job i'll say and along with the light job like blood bank or somewhere you can uh, join and then along with that you can prepare but definitely if you want to prepare with the job you need to be highly motivated so these are the few things which i want to tell you for this group and these things can you can actually use for your uh, preparation so at the last few insights a wise man once said don't be afraid to start over again this time you are not starting from the scratch you are starting from experience so definitely you have experience you know what are your weaknesses you know what you have done in the past so you have that advantage there is no self development without self awareness you can read as many as books you like if you are unable to read yourself you will never learn a thing so you should know what are your weaknesses what are your strengths what are your limitations what are your flaws so once you are able to read yourself then you will eventually improve so first write down what are your weaknesses what are your flaws and and then uh, work on them the more you aspire and try to replicate to be like someone successful less the chances to become like them originality is something you can't replicate it begins where replication ends so see like i am releasing a planner there are a lot of students who are releasing the strategy there are some groups who are consistently you know uh, telling you what to do but i will say always give a personalized touch to your preparation i have i have released few interviews already on my channel i am releasing few in the future as well but you will see the students who have talked they have added something you you can take what positives you get from this video and then you add few things to it and that will help you improve in your uh, exam just blindly following anyone is not going to help you have to develop your own personalized uh, you know uh, plan so guys i hope this video helps you and i wish you all the best if you have any doubt or any confusion let me know in the comment box and take care